just another day questioning what is the meaning of life. So passive income is pretty challenging. The reason because of it is competition exists and what is passive at one point actually turns into an aggressive battle for businesses or companies or entrepreneurs struggling to actually get the customers at a lower price for higher quality with less overhead cost. And this is all while finding a way to constantly give the consumer or the customer at the other end of the sales process more value than everybody else. I've actually been trying to get into the habit of listening to audiobooks. I have this like Audible account where just I have like literally 173 audiobooks and I literally get them and I never read them. So I'm starting to read them right now or not read, but listen to them. And one of them that I'm actually listening to is this book called How to Be a Billionaire. And it's talking about like some really interesting strategies on how some of these billionaires actually became successful. A lot of it was not from passive income, but from like hostile takeovers of company and being in charge of the company's destiny. It's actually pretty interesting because, you know, it's like, for example, I'll be chasing passive income, but passive income is like this, this like dream, right? And then you get it and then you get lazy. And then what happened to me is two years after everything just crumbles and you have to go and build everything back up again. So learning from this, it's like actually pretty interesting because I'm asking myself, do I actually want more passive income just to be lazy? Or do I want more passive income to actually do cool things, you know? One thing is like really interesting, uh, exactly what they just said. They said that most of these billionaires didn't really make their own ideas. And if anything, all of the ideas that made these billionaires billionaires, the people whose idea it actually was died in like some tragic death. Like for example, uh, the software that Bill Gates used for his for his computer, Microsoft, whatever thing back in the day was like some licensing software. I'm definitely like butchering the entire story, but there was this actual developer that invented it all. And Gates kind of took that information and software and became a billionaire. Well, this guy who had the idea just mysteriously died in a bar fight one night. And there's so many account of these with billionaires. It's just like, for some reason, random people just end up dying. <laughs> it's so freaking sketchy. <laughs> and I guess as I'm just like laying here in the middle of the morning, it's like 9 a.m. now, and I'm just like wondering, what, what is like my purpose in life? What, what do I actually want to do? I'm starting to kind of like wonder, do I actually want to build the biggest business in the world? Because that seems like a lot of responsibility. And I don't know if I'm like mature enough for that yet. I was looking at uh, one of my friend's VSL webinars the other day because like we all funnel hack each other and he said something, he said, what would you do if you had it all? What would you do? So I'm like really curious, what would you guys do if you had it all? I think we're so lost in this money making space and there's so many people that are just like getting lost with like the latest shiny object and, and it just gets hard. It just gets hard for us to actually realize what's the most important thing in life because a lot of the things that I, I just got a VPN the other day. Check it out. I got this VPN where I literally click on it and I can have a Chicago signal. And the moment I did that, the weirdest thing happened. I got inundated with so many making money online ads. Let's just actually see if one of them are gonna pop up. I bet you five croissants and four goat yogurts that this is gonna be a make money online ad. We'll even check out one of my own videos. Let's check this out. You guys think this is gonna be a make money online ad? Let's check it out. This is the only way to scale your Shopify or e-commerce Who are you on my video? Test products directly from AliExpress in one minute or less. Jesus, Products okay, that's one. Let's click on this. What ad do you guys think? Uh, no ad. Maybe this ad? Seriously, stop wasting your time watching another webinar on how to get rich. You are wasting your time. Hey, I'm e-commerce. Hi, I'm day trading. Hey, you mind shuffling this? That's a weird way to make money, but sure. So it's really hard to actually sit down and think what I actually want when there's so many people out there telling you exactly what you should want. Nice car, fancy house, Amazon FBA, drop shipping, trading. There's all these things. But I think one thing that they don't take into account is these online businesses don't really work for everybody. And everybody has their own specific personality. 
And normally, if you do a business that doesn't align with your personality, then you fail miserably. And I think one of the things I'm realizing for me is to choose things that are aligned with my personality because what I succeed in, you could fail at. But what you succeed in, I could completely fail at. And I guess the more I'm starting to become more self-aware of myself, the more I sort of realize that it's not about all these ads that are preaching things. It's about who am I as a person? What are my values? What do I want out of life? And then reverse engineering from there. Okay, so that's enough of my existential crisis. Now it's time to actually do some work. I learned a bunch of things from that audiobook. One of them is, actually, I don't know, maybe you guys should listen to it and then we could kind of like mastermind on the biggest ideas, BRB. Check this out for a little bit of technical stuff. Uh, we're getting really cheap cost per leads and the people that are showing up for the presentation are only 11 to 40 bucks. So I'm actually going to start scaling these numbers. So one of the downsides is the more you spend in advertising, the crazier things get in terms of things breaking, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go put like almost like a stop loss, uh, what they do in stocks. But I guess it's with advertising. Someone left a comment the other day where it was like, instead of a day trader, I'm almost like a marketing trader. And that's essentially kind of like what advertising is. You know, you, you have this sales process up and running and then you just put like the certain stop losses in place so that if it goes a certain amount of say cost per like presentation attendee or person that gives us their emails, it just like automatically kills it so we don't spend money. But one of the worst things that has happened is when I forget to put the stop loss, thinking I did, and I'll go to bed and wake up and we'll just literally blow through like thousands of dollars and then you know for the rest of the day, I'm just mindlessly trying to figure out how to recoup the money that we just lost. And not every day is just sunshines and daisies, but you know, I can't even think of like a better alternative than to really just do this. So I don't know, you guys have any thoughts? Is there anything else I should try? I'm open up for like literally any recommendations. So in essence, if anybody wants to steal my business, this is essentially what it looks like. We target a lot of the US, 25 to 34 women. We have a bunch of lookalike audiences. We have abroad, California, Texas, Florida, New York only. And then we have some men in there, but the majority of the ones that do really well are women for some reason, so. And we're capping it only at $5. Meaning if it starts, if any one of those little silos starts spending more than $5 per email, a uh, registration for this online presentation, it just automatically just stops spending money. So it, it's actually really good, but the most important thing is I get so much ADD, so I like double and triple and quadruple check it, especially if I'm starting to spend like 500 or $1,000. In this case, the budget for this is $500 a day. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. I'll, I'll let you guys know what it looks like tomorrow, but it's so dope because like I said, I need to be grateful. I mean, I'm literally pressing some buttons and people are seeing my content from all around the world. So I have no complaints at all. Maybe a little bit, but pure gratitude, pure gratitude. The most annoying thing just happened actually. We just got 515 ads. 515 ads were just rejected. So normally what happens is your advertising account gets shut down, but for some reason mine is still up. So I'm like treading on very, very, very close corners right now. So I'm talking to a Facebook rep to see what's going on and why did we get so many rejected ads? It's actually very not normal. Hopefully we get to the bottom of this. Come on, magical Facebook rep, please fix it. This is actually pretty annoying and scary and uh, just a little bit aggravating because just like that, if this ad account goes down, then the passive income machine that I quote unquote created that I make all these YouTube videos on will just be sadly taken away from me. And then I have to basically beg Facebook, get on my hands and knees and just be like, Facebook, can I please get my Facebook ad account back? Please, please, please. And then after a couple of days of just intense meditation and breath work and just trying to like relax my mind, most of the time we get it back, but it's always freaking annoying whenever this happens. That's one of the downsides of this, right? So for example, earlier on we talked about the problem with passive income. All it takes is one little thing like this to go wrong. I'm talking about 515 ads that were rejected and the passive income just like that is gone as I beg Facebook 
To please, 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 please. Uh, to please not reject any more ads or ban my account, which is probably one of the most like annoying things that always happens, maybe once every three to nine months. <sighs> it's kind of funny that the topic of today was how passive income doesn't last forever because there's certain things that happens in business that affect it, right? Your competition, or in this case, Facebook, just being like your ads won't work and they're all rejected. Good news is my ad account is still alive for the time being. The bad news is I've been on customer service for like, like an hour and they're just like hanging out. That's the only downside with Facebook. So I think I'm gonna go blow off some steam. a lot better. I think we're gonna try doing this every single day with these videos. One of the things that helped is uh, actually filming this. You know, most of the times when bad things happen, I'll just like tense up and get really angry and just like let it affect and just ruin my entire day. But now that this camera kind of like holds me accountable and makes me realize if I'm being like a little bitch or not, I don't know. I think that's why everyone should really document every single day. Even if they're not gonna publish it, they learn so much about themselves. I'm actually going through all of Casey's old vlogs right now. I'm just get inspired. Dima, you and Chinta ready to make videos every day, bro? Yeah. Chinta, you ready? Yes, I'm ready, I'm ready. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, that, that's one of the things that we're doing. We're gonna try to upload videos every single day during the weirdness in the world that's going on, how we're planning on making money, how we plan on losing money. Uh, but most importantly, we're just trying to put as much content out there to just let you guys know that no one really knows what they're doing. You know, everyone just maybe look like they know what they're doing. You see all the ads that you saw in the morning. Everyone's just trying to sell something, but like behind the scenes, from all the people that are selling things, as you guys can see, cause you know, my ad account may or may not be banned today. Everyone goes through so much fire. Everyone goes through so much hardships in the back. And I think the more you guys realize that, the more you guys can start feeling more confident in all the actions that you decide to take. So this is my biggest goal right now, if you guys have been checking this out. See this? It started on September 1st. I want this to never break the link. September three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I wanna keep on going and keep on going and just see how long I could go documenting everything, the goods, the bads, the beautifuls, the uglies. And just see what happens when I'm just like authentic and just sharing my entire experience. So that way, when you're on your passive income journey and things hit the fan, because it will, bad things will happen, you may lose a bunch of money. You start realizing that all of it is normal. And I think your biggest thing is to just have a very healthy love with failure and learning how to overcome it when it actually happens. And I guess being patient with this YouTube channel is showing me a lot about myself and my creativity and my passion and what I actually wanna do with my life. It's a very interesting thing that, I, I don't know, I would just recommend more people to do it, even if it's not for making money, but just for like learning more about who you are as a person. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's done, bro. You so got fast, the videos, yeah. bro. You're so good, I love you so much. The best. So I'm basically widening down my day and I just learned maybe four lessons that I wanted to share with you guys. The first lesson that I have is to don't get discouraged. Bad things happen all the time. Our ad account got shut down. I'm also looking at the views. The views aren't where I wanna be. There's so many things in my life where I want like instant gratification now and I still don't have it. But I know that one of the biggest things to actually ruin my life is to get discouraged and quit. So if you guys are building something right now and you're getting discouraged, just understand everyone gets discouraged. And it's how you deal with this emotion and this idea that separates the winners and the losers. Which leads me to the second step and that's loving the process. Now, as you can see, I'm literally publishing videos every single day. A 
lot of videos are not getting any views, but all I know is like in the old videos in the past, all it took was one for it to really blow up and then people started seeing exactly who I was. You know, for the past two years, I've just been chasing the money way too fast instead of loving the process. And it's actually pretty interesting and pretty hard for me to just calm down and to just relax and to fall in love with initially what made me the person that initially got a lot of success in the earlier on. And, and it's just like tough, man, because I'm impatient. I want to succeed. I want to make my family proud. I want to do a bunch of cool things. I want to make more money than I do right now. But because whenever I throw away the process and I just go straight for the results, it usually just like destroys my entire life. They just came in. Where'd you guys come from? Um, I just ate, but like the amount of food that I had is like this compared to what you have in that plate. Really? <laughs> Dude, I literally cooked this in like 50 seconds. I just had all you can eat and it was like half of that. Ah. <laughs> which me, leads me to the last two things, which I'm just gonna say because uh, I'm pretty hungry and you know, I'll just see you guys tomorrow. But the last one is you're gonna fail. So when you try something, don't expect to not fail because odds are you're gonna fail nine out of 10 times. Like with every nine or 10 or even like 50 videos that I might create, maybe one will blow up. It's like every single 10 to 50 ads I create on Facebook ads, maybe one will blow up, right? So you wanna start adding failure into your routine of what to actually expect. And I guess the last one, and it was a quote that I heard when I was listening to Joe Rogan and Elon Musk, and that is happiness equals reality minus expectations. The more you expect things in your life and the expectation doesn't meet the reality that happens, that's the fast way to unhappiness. If you expect your wife, your girlfriend, your husband, your boyfriend or whatever to treat you some way and they don't, that, that's not gonna make you happy. So I think for everything is just don't put too much expectation on things. More so, if you focus on an expectation for the result, it's because you're focusing on the result instead of falling in love with the process. So I think that's the biggest lesson for me. I'm, I'm impatient as hell. Same way like how I only cook this in like five minutes, I, I, I can't wait when it comes to waiting for the results and you know I want to make more now I want to grow faster now but I know it's just not how the world works and I'm just gonna have to wait and trust in the process that is all you want to say anything no. okay guys subscribe bye <laughs>